Overload is a six degrees of freedom shooter, similar to Descent, or Sublevel Zero, or Everspace, or Retrovirus, or the many, many, many that have come between Descent and now. Uh, Overload is a game actually that I backed on Kickstarter. They made over $300,000, just a smidge over $300,000, which is actually what their cutoff was uh, to actually support, actually get the game out, uh, with almost 5,000 backers. Now, obviously, this is a long time ago, <laughs> because that's the way it works with Kickstarter. You uh, you back it, and then it's about a year, maybe a year and a half late, and that's actually pretty much where they're at right now. They have an estimated delivery date uh, for the game of March 2017. It is now May of 2018. They're going to be releasing this game uh, towards the end of this month, like a 1.0 release. And I will tell you right now, don't let the price tag scare you. $24.99. It is like you're buying Descent again. It is the closest to the original Descent than any of the other games that I've played. Uh, Everspace, I'm sorry, um, Retrovirus was Probably pretty close, but it had its own kind of uh, just aesthetic and everything. Uh, you were basically inside of a computer and whatnot. Uh, Sub-level zero was more of a roguelike, if I recall, with lots of procedural gener uh, generation and all of that. Its aesthetic was actually a little bit closer, uh, just given what you did. But Overload is goddamn like just it just feels like I'm playing Descent again. Like I'm sitting in class <laughs> because this is... <laughs> This is one of the reasons we got kicked out of my school. Uh, I was sitting in class playing Descent uh, on the computers in the back, uh, and I actually had got them all networked together <laughs> to play Descent, and so being some friends, we're playing Descent multiplayer. Um, and then I got, got kicked out. That was fun. So this is uh, there, there's a campaign here. They have a lot of, of uh, things that are coming with the 1.0, like like basically story. Uh, and they actually, I believe they brought on the Everspace writer, one of the writers for like Everspace, I think, I think, uh, this is based off of a forum post that I believe the dev made it look like he did. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, now I'm going to run you through the levels. You can see there's level two, three, four, six, and seven. I believe that five is missing simply because it's maybe a boss encounter because you're supposed to, there's basically a bunch of bosses that you're going to be encountering. There's like 15 levels, main levels, and then 20 different challenges. Uh, and seven, uh, and I think like a handful of like mega bosses or something. Um, but in each one that I played so far, it has been pretty much the same thing. Go, uh, go destroy the uh, reactor and that's it now I was playing a rookie this whole like basically the past couple hours or so that I've been playing this uh, and oh, I don't want to necessarily like I don't want to you know take that from me here actually let's go back and this is skip upgrade okay yes yeah, okay then we're gonna go back let's see, go we go back here ah, I found a flaw I can't go all the way back to the menu from here uh, let's just go to auto upgrade for now as we get in what am I playing on I was gonna play on my guy but whatever let's go I have a, my own pilot. What you're seeing here is just basically, I think just playing, we can still progress in the, in the uh, campaign here if you wanted to. All right. So your movement is basically what you'd expect from a 60 OF shooter. You have QE will rotate you. Actually, some of these may not be the original, the original uh, keybinds. That should change a few things. But for me, you can basically roll like this. Which, by the way, uh, <laughs> the whole, this whole Indie for Breakfast is going to look like that. So if you are, if you get motion sickness easily, you might want to go ahead and take this one out. This is not the game for you anyways. You should have known that the second I said six degrees of freedom. What are you still doing here? <laughs> There's absolutely no reason for you to be here. So, speaking of <laughs> spinning in circles, uh... The game has a fantastic feel to things. As you can see, like I'm dodging this thing, right? I dodging like, its charging ability, charging with the with the saws there, just by simply moving out of the way. You have obviously complete freedom to move in any direction you want to get to uh, get around them. But what's nice is that they're not like omnipotent. You know, like you play some games and the damn things are omnipotent. Look, these guys had no idea. <laughs> now that being said, I have noticed some of these sticks have actually anticipated my movement, depending on the skill level, I believe. I'm gonna guess. 
But yeah, being being able to like outmaneuver something in space in in a in a six six DOF basically in space, right? Uh, it just feels good. It just feels really good. Now, I don't remember which map I chose, but we're gonna deploy my hollow guy. He's gonna tell me exactly where to go, just for the sake, just for the sake of kind of cruising here. Get through this. Show you as much as possible. I gotta show you guys challenge modes too. That's pretty important. Now, I did play this in VR. It is available in VR. It does run beautifully in VR. Ah, come on. It does run beautifully in VR. I unfortunately could not hang <laughs> with it for that long. So there, there is, there is a bit of. Notice as like I'm turning, right? There's a little kind of wobbliness and such. Obviously, when you're slowing down, there's a little bit of a drag there. Any kind of like move, especially this kind of motion, uh, I was able to last probably about 40 minutes or so, almost long enough to record. Uh, and then I ended up having to go lay down for like two hours. So right over here, that's actually a mob generator. It is not protected, so we can blow through it. And there's. I get through there? Nope. Okay, we gotta find the field generator for that. That is basically just more talent points that I could use. I could spend later, as you, as you could saw me just go through and actually spend the damn talent points on, uh, on random stuff at the beginning. No log messages. I believe one of these might be an opening. This always freaks me out. Huh? Well, how do I get in that room? Hmm. Look at the map here. Huh. Now nah, we'll come back. All right, let's go follow this guy. Whoa. Let's grab this. The blue is your armor on bottom, bottom middle. Also blue orbs. The orange is your energy. Basically for all your primary weapons. It can run out. It does auto replenish. It auto replenishes very, very, very slowly. So it's borderline useless. Okay, so I lost my buddy. There he is. He's like, what are you doing? You have a number of different kinds of kinds of types of weapons available to you. They all take up slots. So you see the bottom left corner. They all have their own their own assigned slots. So what you're looking at right there is pretty much about the only weapons you're gonna get in the game, which is it's completely sufficient. Each one is completely different. For example, whoa man, reflex. Got them both, I think. Nope, this guy's still going. <laughs> Reflex bounces off walls. Like that. Oh, jeez. Okay, need to get get out. You got to charge, by the way. Like, actual charge into them like this. Let's see I'm out of stuff. Let me get out of here. This is the pistol. Basically. Like, good for precision shots. Good amount of damage. Probably the most useful weapon at this distance. My shoot, my shoot, I have this guy. It does take some getting used to the reticule. Uh, and where the weapons come from. All your weapons come from the bottom. All your primary weapons come from the bottom. Black, oh, black you don't actually see. You just see the damage it does. Impulse. From, from the sides. From the bottom, very bottom. And then reflex. And then the driller. So you gotta get, kinda get used to like your distance to the target. Where your, uh, where the projectiles are coming from. Where am I going, dude? Through this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Right behind us. Come on. Get this flak out. I'll have to, like, mow somebody down. Like that. Flak is mega powerful when you're up close. Okay. What we got out of there? I can't remember what, what's... Uh, difficulty settings I choose. Let's go back up real quick. Hold on. Yeah, friend one down here. Ah, yes, this is the security door now that we can open. And we have... Oh, this door actually opens. Most of the time these are locked, I feel. Or require like a secret. Oh, there's no... oh that's not a key. Ah, yes, this is like the secondary here. So these are actual pods. You get near them, pick them up. Oh. And they can die. But we wouldn't want that. Let's see if we can take them. I believe they can die. Well, I know they show up as deceased in your log. If you, uh, yeah, well, if something happens. I'm guessing if they die. Cryotube. 
I just grab this. Right now, there's no story, so it's kind of hard to really piece together what like, who those characters are. The story has not been implemented yet. You see the, the logs are not available uh, in early access. You saw that a couple times picking up things up. Okay, these guys are really pissed. Gonna boost out of here. Let's grab his energy. What are these? That's a big thing, whatever that is. Hunter, Creeper, Nova. Let's see if we can back a little bit. Oh, ah, it's like a black grenade or something. Okay, didn't just didn't take the guy down, but probably that red armor. Yes, I know. I've been locked on. Take his energy. It's a log right there. No log messages in early access. Whoops. I'm gonna actually go ahead and circle. What is that? Let's go down here. Oh, it's just more ammo. Actually, I don't know exactly where I'm going. Ah, I'm circled around. Away. Grab these. Armor. Armor. This. Gonna just descend like this. And there's another behind me. Let's see. Reflex. And driller. And flak. Flak should do some work. Well, we just keep these guys moving here. Good. Nice. All right. So we're good. Get that. Let's get another talent point. Skill point. That was close. Adam, let's go to get out of the way real quick. Grab that armor. Phew. Oh, 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 gosh. By the way, the music is spot on so good. That was a trap. Just such a good throwback. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't need to go that way anyways. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave. Oh, he went down there. Maybe he meant to come up here? I wanna get too close, get some of this. All right. I need all this energy, all this armor. I see him. I see him. Get this guy moving here. Okay, get his energy if he has any. Whatever he's got. Alright, let's wait for our buddy to come back. Clean up first. I got so you keep these guys moving, they can't lock on. They'll use these some of these heavy projectors with the cyclone, for example. This guy I think I'm shooting right now. Just knocks these guys off off axis. Oh shit. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. It's I, I what were we playing on just then? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, but I'm gonna guess I'm guess it was probably Ace or something we jumped into. I'd meant to jump into another another pilot and all that, but that's fine. It works. Killed by a crack, and ultimately these are all the uh, this is basically all of your stats here, broken down. Damage by auto ops. Uh, the harpy does the most has done the most damage to me because of the little shape, the little silhouette, which is kind of nice. Uh, here's your damage. It shows actually where's your armor at versus where's your damage. Um, and you can see that. Uh, well, my damage line is pretty 
<laughs> my kill count was pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, my armor just uh, just went away for some reason. Look at that. It just kind of went to nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh, then it shows my most used weapons and all that. And you can actually, here's where you could see it's like, okay, what am I firing the most and getting no kills out of, right? Uh, it'd be kind of nice actually if there was a ratio to that. That would actually kind of... Uh, that would help a lot. And then you can figure out, it's like, okay, well, I'm shooting this, like, for example, the flak or something, and I'm doing 2,000 amount of projectile damage or shots, and then I'm only killing, like, one person. Maybe I should stop. Here we go. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. So these are the survivors that I was telling you about. I got out of that room. It was not the primary mission, but it's part of something, and I don't know what that is yet. So let me go ahead and now show you guys the challenge mode. Let's see, infinite, we'll do infinite, where are my skull? Oh, can I change pilots? Hold on, let's change back. I, it isn't need for breakfast thing, so I guess I should probably just use it, but uh, <laughs> play challenge mode, I want credit. So yeah, I did I did one uh, one map, this is on ace, this is basically difficulty level, right? It's easy, 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 uh, super, super hard, and then completely, just completely insane. Um, and there's countdown, I did that as well. So we're gonna go and do infinite, because it's gonna eventually, I'm gonna eventually die. Uh, <laughs> probably sooner than the uh, few minutes we have left in this. All right. Lifetime kills. Yeah, I've not done this one yet. So Crusher and Driller. That's a good combination. Crusher is basically like the Cyclone one. That's what it was. The the, the spin up one. Uh, and the Driller is good for pinpoint. It's the, uh, the pistol. Now, this thing also plays, and thank God, really, really well on controller. I actually found myself playing on controller... Uh, through most of the time that, well, it was available, actually. Uh, because, again, as a backer, I have been able to play it. Oh, that is a different weapon than I thought it was. This crusher is like a charge ability. That is awesome. Whoa, okay, let's not stand in their way while we do this, though. Uh, so, yes, the... Let's go and switch. Oh, the, okay, that was a different weapon. Okay, got it. Uh, so, yeah, the game has really, really good controller. Uh, controls, <laughs> adaptation, and I was actually playing, like I said, more on that mode than I was the, um, than it was KBM, and I, I didn't notice it until I was sitting downstairs and I was talking to my wife, and I was playing this through my, uh, through my Steam Link down there, so it was a little bit of delay, but it still felt really good on the controller, um, and I was just like, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically this and that, whatever it comes from the descent. You used to play it back at you know, back at school <laughs> and at home. Uh and it was just awesome, whatever, just playing the game. And then I was like, oh wait a minute. PC, I'm playing on a controller. And that's what I realized. And I, I had already put so many hours in. I just basically completely dismissed. Even sitting at the PC earlier today, playing this, I was playing with a controller. So that's how good it is. You have to rebind a couple things, but it is good. Totally works. Okay, it's going to right side up here. Oh! There he is. What do we have? Missile Pod Hunter, Creeper, Nova, Devastator. We get a shot. Whoa! Like that. We get him. Wow, that was, that was great. Oh, shit! That was fantastic. Okay, some more coming here. Let's go and get out of that. Ooh. I thought I'd like to actually pair my weapons with a one-two punch with the missiles. Now this basically is horde mode. It's gonna just continue to send me more and more and more of these guys. Until... Oh, I can't go underneath. Oof, oof, that was an expensive test. Warning shot, it was a warning shot. Like a couple, just a couple more warning shots. <laughs> Come on. This is all I got down here. And some of the levels are pretty crazy, actually. I'm looking forward to this thing in multiplayer. I really hope people pick it up because this, for me, it's like it's like another Unreal Tournament. And I, that's pretty sure most of you guys know I'm quite fond of Unreal Tournament. I have many good memories in Unreal Tournament. Just gonna get out of this weapon. I'm clearly terrible. Whoa! Stick with a shotgun, actually. But yes, being able to have this complete spatial freedom and a PvP environment. It's just so incredibly fun. Oh, whoa, what is he? It seems like it was charging down that hell. Jesus. I'm down that wall. It was four door. Okay, now he's, now he's running. Got a cloak. Last about 20 seconds. 
give me an opportunity to actually go ahead and then we could auto switch to the new weapon. Just go ahead and change it back. Reflex, pressure. Right? Yes. I have plenty of ammo, so I need I needn't be sparing with it. Yeah, some of the some of the levels have uh, some of the maps have ambush. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Woo! Some of the levels have like speed tubes, like transportation tubes. I'll have to show you actually. Might as well. New personal best. What up? Uh, and how much XP did I get from that? Difficulty bonus four XP. Wow, that's thanks. <laughs> I feel like you should get more than that. Uh, let's see. So you get upgrades now, right? There's some persistence here. So it's not just you just basically banging your head against the wall, right? So this is 16, 619 um, XP that I have. I need a thousand for the next upgrade. And so it's uh, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> so let's go ahead and actually try backfire. Uh, let's see, we actually have 20. Let's go labyrinth. Yeah. And then we'll do it on ace. Uh, da -da -da -da, time bomb. Time bomb is basically just like the stopwatch in any other game. You just hit it, hit it and time slows. This guy likes to charge in and clamp on you. you just pincers. Now you can charge, like I said, you can go like that, get up on their face and then hit, hit shift. Shift also acts as a kind of a nice little stabilizer when you want to like fly through caverns. Kind of like this, right? Kind of, kind of keeps it, you gotta wobble the screen a little bit, but it does kind of keep you in line, I feel. Completely placebo, not an actual feature, it just feels that way. 100% placebo. Gotta stay on top of this armor collection here. Oh. oh god, the time. Oh, I, I wasted two time things. It's okay. So we get to show you. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. Don't. Even the music slows down. Pretty sure it's probably not going to be a multiplayer. Oh. God, those are worse. There he is. Oh man. Woo! It's really, really hard to like live cast and play this game at the same time because there's just so much going on. Uh, difficulty bonus two, 637, that's my total XP. Let's go to return. Yeah, I'm never gonna get. I'm never gonna get a break out of this XP here. I wonder why. Actually, that's kind of interesting. There's, I, I, I'm getting XP, but man, it's such a just a miserable rate. I mean, I'm not doing great, but I, I thought that maybe just how long, especially in the Foundry year. Foundry year did pretty good. <laughs> Let's see, twenty thousand. Let's go here. Let's see just just how good I, I did compared to everybody else. Let's let's just, let's just see, twenty thousand compared to oh one point five million with 988 kills for 54 minutes and nine seconds that he survived in that one that I did. That was rookie though, hold on, hold on. I was ace. What up, where are we at here? Oh, I'm in 99th. Okay, okay, well, I, you know, I was being, I knew I knew the leaderboard. I didn't realize that it wasn't for the one that I was on. Hey, wow, so actually I, I do kind of look like all right here. What is it out of what? There's uh, scores, there's only 129 scores and I'm 99. Okay, well, I, I could put some more work into it. Let me see, 643, there you go, 27 minutes. So somebody lasted four, 27 minutes in this thing. That's wild. I can't even, can't even imagine. So that's pretty much it. Like, Overload is pretty much, even, even with the destroy the reactor and escape before it explodes thing, right? Even with that, like it just shows, it's, yeah, it's basically descent. Uh, and a damn good one. Probably the best I've played. Now, the best, I should say, spiritual successor to Descent. Sublevel Zero and Retrovirus added their own twist on things. Retrovirus was very much a, a kind of an RPG, like an RPG elements to it, which this has with some of its upgrades, but Retrovirus had a bit more like, it was basically more story driven. 
I don't know what the story is going to be on this. Pardon me. I don't know what the story is going to be with this. Um, maybe that's what it was. It was the Everspace writers they were going to bring. I don't know. Music. Uh, music uh, uh, production. But anyways. Yeah. I've, I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. And... And I'm, I'm so glad to reach it 1.0 because I'm hoping, 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 hoping that this is the the six degrees of freedom shooter that people actually start picking up. And that's it. So the game's called Overload. It's currently on Steam. Early access for the next few couple weeks for $24.99. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. This is Any for Breakfast. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.